risk management using the command prompt is fairly simple and can be especially useful if you are in a situation where you can't use the computer management console, such as in a Pixie Boot environment when you are building a new PC. Let's start with this part by typing this into the command prompt window and pressing enter. You'll then see the this part prompt. To view the list of commands we can use here, type question mark and then press enter. Before we can do anything else, we need to see what volumes are available on your system and how they are set up. This can be done by using the list command. As you can see here, the list command has a sub-menu with the following four options. Disk, Partition, Volume and VDisk. The next step here is to select a disk. This command is normally as follows for a machine's primary disk drive. Select disk 0. The first command, list disk, displays the number of physical disk drives on your system, along with their status, size and free disk space, as well as whether the disk is basic or dynamic, and whether the disk's partition table is GPT based or MVR based. Basic disks are the default configuration on a standard Windows 10 install, and offer a maximum of four partitions, whereas a dynamic disk allows unlimited partitions, although on a dynamic disk, these are referred to as volumes. Partition tables on a default Windows 10 configuration are normally GPT, which is standard standards for newer systems, and having a dynamic disk requires a GPT partition table type. MBR or Master Boot Record partitions have backward compatibility with older operating systems, but this has its restrictions. For example, any disk over 2 terabytes in size has to have a GPT partition, as MBR partitions will not support drives over 2 terabytes. The list partition command displays all of the raw partitions available on a disk, with information including the partition number, type, size and offset values. The offset value is very rarely referenced or changed and is therefore beyond the scope of this course. The list volume command displays the formatted volumes contained on the partitions along with information such as a drive letter, disk label, file system type, size, status and any flags on the drive, for example whether the partition is a boot or system volume. The list vdisk command is normally used to attach a file as a virtual disk drive, but as this is rarely used in practice, this command is outside the scope of this course.